be no black, folks. The end of the world ain't coming anytime soon. And we basically have our fresh footage from Sechi. And it's not really fresh. We're way behind, are we not? Yes. And you'll see below left the energy that's coming in from the supergiants. Lower left. And Venus has got its action going on that it does when we get CMEs so it's blasting its atmosphere off because of the huge CMEs that you're seeing from the Sun and no it's not even I think this could be a C-class flare that we got because that's what we've had last has all been C-class flares so they've been just huge pieces that are coming off of the sun. You know, you're not. I mean, it's a huge amount of energy, okay? And it's just oozing out. Now, it seems to be pretty hard to see where we've got any of that comet going around anywhere. And we get a good factual of what Mercury is looking like down there now. And you can see Mercury flaring. Eh, Mercury's not really flaring, but it, you know, a lot of people. Venus is flaring its ass off like crazy. We'll see if we can get to 15th. And the energy there is just wild, this energy that's moving along there. And what's unusual about it, it's just to get the energy to go over top of it. So we may have pretty much uh, see our other suns that we've basically other people that have been watching the Soho stuff for years and I'm finally getting some actual footage. It might be a lot more than just an energy wave. So I'll go down and take a look at that. So we'll zoom in. Uh, Venus, we're used to seeing Venus flare. The comet, it'd be nice to see if we could see where how close the the comet didn't get too darn close to Venus. But it did make Venus flare pretty good before the CME. But electrically wise, see that's what we know about the electrical is the idea that. Venus can, I mean, it's just magneticism. This is magneticism to the sun. And this, it ain't no camera flare. They've always been saying, oh, it's a camera flare. Came for it. It's this atmospheric reaction to a CME, which is a coronal mass ejection. And a coronal mass ejection is what the sun's doing there. And then all the electrical energy that Venus has with its Van Allen belt, all the Van Allen belts of the solar system. It's a motor. It's an electrical motor. Anybody that knows about electric motors and stuff like that, it's basically the universe is nothing but a bunch of objects, but they're electrical connections, electrical magneticism floating in space. That's why they stay in order. That's why we, they stay in our orbits. We're stuck in orbits. Otherwise, we'd be nothing. We'd be out. Mankind wouldn't be alive. We'd be floating out away from a star. We wouldn't be warm. Where would you be without heat? Now, does mankind have the ability that if we floated away from the sun? stay alive? Yes, we do. Because drill, baby, drill. Uh, all kinds of energies that we have. So, sustain yourself on solar power? Mm, not really. You kind of can. But what if something crazy happens? So anyway, we got to zoom in on the, the lower right here and get it to see if we've got one of our suns that's that we're seeing there that's like died off like the sun 
and that it basically maybe possibly does what and we may possibly be seeing a either that or the meatball instead of just a because it sure seems to be the electrical energy glancing off whatever the heck is there so we pretty much get actual factual and it's not just an energy and if it is then it's electrical energy from the supergiants that's a lot stronger than the sun because it doesn't even get waffled so basically you get a good look at what pretty much is part of our electrical energy up there which basically could this be the meatball meatball that uh, they talk about in Space Cowboys and that's something you just don't talk about uh, and they put it in the movie the meatball so whatever that is it's huge and if it's energy that we keep on seeing coming I'll have more videos in the future of uh, let's get it really in on that edge of that as that energy's hitting there and then and the end of the world's not coming this thing's been around up there for ages we've seen it on Soho ever since they first started putting it out when we finally you know they kind of fell asleep at the wheel and they just would end up being seen now this could end up to just being a flipping energy wave that is coming from the super giants So, all you can see is what you see. Whatever it is, the energy from the sun bounces off of it. <laughs> so now I gotta try to get freeze. Oh, there we go. See? So the energy that's from the sun pretty much bounces off of it. So, now we back out, and people, it's not coming off the sun, okay, that's not coming off the sun. The CME is, and it's bouncing off whatever the hell that is, so I gotta get down smaller and hit freeze on this. I'm actually just gonna slow it down. And then we gotta zoom up. And you can see it, the energy off the sun is bouncing off of that. So whether you want to call it an energy wave from outer space, or if you want to call it the biggest damn meatball that you're going to see because we finally get a close-up again of... And I've got some other people's footage, and basically, if you've got the footage, the old Soho stuff, and I've got some of the links I can go to, and it's still up on the Internet. But basically, this is the huge or one of the huge meatballs that's part of our solar system because yes that's the sun ladies and gentlemen not not that to your lower right but that's the sun throwing a CME at that and it's basically bouncing off of it okay because if it wasn't an object there you've seen plenty of CMEs before if it was like that it would that CME action would drop down a little lower and it does and it glances right off of this huge meatball Okay, so now it's going to be interesting So to, to go ahead and go, so realize that that energy is actually bouncing off of whatever the hell. That's See how that CME comes in there and then bounces off of that energy wave? Not an energy wave, pretty much more than likely the huge meatball or one of the meatballs that's out there in space. It's flipping huge. It's way bigger than the sun. And you're just seeing a portion of it. So anyhow, if we could get some darkness in the future, if for some reason that floats in front of the sun, we would get a little dark, but I kind of doubt that that's going to happen. So, the world is not ended. It is the 21st, as you can see in the lower right. It's 2 a.m., so... And it's supposed to happen at 6-something. Yeah, well, yeah, whatever. So anyway, if we do get darkness, it was something I, you know somewhat, you know, hey, there's always a possibility, even right now, there's still a possibility that, you know, any day that we could go dark, because if one of these huge meatballs was to get in front of the sun for a little bit, but as you see how fast it moves, you see how fast it's moving, 
Daddy, if that was to get in front of the sun, it wouldn't stay in front of the sun very long. It doesn't seem like it. So, and it's not headed in the direction of getting in front of the sun either right now, so it's going out towards Mercury and so forth, whatever that is. And if it's just an energy wave from the supergiants, then it's just an energy wave from the supergiants, but it's huge. It's flipping huge. Because the sun's going so wild right now, I can't really kind of show you how small this... I mean, not small, but the sun is small compared to this huge thing. And as you see, energy is off the CME. is just bouncing right off the top of whatever the hell it is. If it's not the hugest damn meatball that you're ever going to see, or one of the meatballs, then it's flipping energy from the supergiants. And that energy bounces CME coronal mass ejections off the sun off like rain off of anything. Rain bouncing off a tin roof. <laughs> Look at that CME. And then let's back out and see how huge this all this electrical energy off the sun is going right now. Now, have I seen worse than this before? Mm, it's seen pretty close to this, but this is getting... this is That's some pretty wild CME action for being a C and so forth and so on, so... And that lower right, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's huge. So, might be a combination of the sun and more energy off of that, whatever it is. So, because as you can see at the beginning, the sun is quite smaller. I can probably freeze it. See, that's the sun right there, okay? And then whammo, is that still the, just the sun? And if so, then that whole thing is deflecting all that energy off the sun like you would not believe. So, pretty wild action. So, you've seen how small the sun is before, and I'll pause it real fast to kind of give people an idea here. And then I can back it up. Boom. Step. Draw that back. So basically, no matter what, going forward. See, the sun is pretty much like this. Okay. And all this, so basically the sun's about like this or something. Okay. And then this thing is like this. Or bigger than that. You see? Big, I mean, you can just see, imagine the size of this thing. You know? Not even going that high, but I mean, it doesn't just get like, boom. You gotta be, figure that the idea of this thing is like, this huge, okay, at least, and I'm going kind of small, but it's that flipping huge, whatever the hell it is, and then the sun's that, so it's it's pretty much, more than likely, probably Rigel Cantaris B or A or something like that related to it or something, or it's just, you know, they never, they, they never really want to tell us about it, NASA keeps it hidden because it scares the hell out of everybody, so anyway, hit play here in this size here and you can kind of see everything going on it's just wild Venus is doing its reactive atmosphere reaction to a coronal mass ejection and you get to see the clock ticker and all this action so anyway let's see what else we can pull in before I run out of tape now over on the B side well basically I'm gonna go left look show you the suns over there and we'll come over here and we're gonna see the earth that's our atmosphere right there folks our atmosphere has been doing that, okay? I was showing you the movies before, and this is just a little bit better because this is the movie from Sechi. So that's our atmosphere. That is Earth doing that electrical connection to... And that should more than likely... Mm, it could be... That's, that's probably Venus. And as you can see, you get an idea of... Oh, when we go to the clock, you'll get an idea of how much Venus rotates actual factual with that with its atmosphere doing that and then basically because you can see what I'm showing you here is you see Venus rotates and Venus rotates counterclockwise see Earth rotates clockwise you see so there's Venus's rotation clockwise and we rotate counterclockwise you see we rotate towards the Sun and that's basically our atmosphere rotating counterclockwise towards the Sun east that's east Sun's magnetical connection to, I mean, Earth's magnetical connection to the Sun. Sorry, folks. And that basically will pop out of here because I got it at enough that you can see the shot pretty good. And that's Earth right there.